No, I know I gotta spray it real quick. Oh, hey, La Bid, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. Today's topic is another top three of my most complimented fragrances. This time it's from the house of Terry Mugler. If you're familiar with fragrances at all, you might have heard of Terry Mugler. Um, the Amen, the Angel on the Bottle, the Star. It's uh, pretty, pretty popular fragrances out there in the, uh, in the community. So I know I've been giving you guys fragrance reviews, but more so it's been on the high end fragrances. So I figure it would be a good time to let you know some entry level fragrances that might work for you. All right, so in the number three spot, we got uh, Terry Mugler's um, Pure Havan. This one right here is a really nice fragrance. Fragrance. These fragrances all have uh, patchouli based in them, so it's kind of playing off the original Amen. This one in itself was based on having like a cigar. You know, so the backstory on this, if you get the box, each one of the backstories are listed on the box of why they made the specific fragrance and kind of what it represents. Um, this one to me, really good, really nice fragrance. You know, it's kind of smoky, kind of woody, hence the reason why it smells like a Cuban cigar. But it's more of a winter based fragrance. As you guys know out there, I live in Florida, so I can't always wear this one. But when you do get to wear this, it's a really nice fragrance. The box on this was in black. Um, the presentation on this is brown. You got the iconic star in the front. You can kind of see the juice in there. It's more of like a brown, like a whiskey looking uh, fragrance. Definitely a must add in the collection. Uh, price point on this, as with all Angel Men fragrances, they're about 89 to 90 bucks. And I don't know why the dollar makes a difference, but some are 89, some are 90. Um, this one's a really good fragrance to add into the collection, especially if you're in the uh, area where you get a nice winter you can get more way out of this one so for the number three spot of the most complimented terry mugler fragrance pure havan and the number two spot for my most complimented mugler fragrances is pure malt this one's meant to smell like liquor, you know, whiskey. All right, so the backstory on this fragrance here is they, they took the ingredients and the fragrance all together and allow it to age with some whiskey casket. But I believe that's just a barrel that they put it in and wanted to make it sound like it was more than what it really was. Good presentation as well. All of these kind of come in a rubber flask. You can drop it. It's not going to break for the most part. and You'll be good to go. Again, it has the iconic angel. It's not a fucking angel, this is a star. It has the iconic star on the front of it. You can still see the juice. It's um, right there. It looks like whiskey, um, but don't drink it because you will die if you drink this. You won't die, but it'll, uh, maybe, I don't know. You might. Another one that's kind of more for the winter, so I really can't wear it as much here in Florida, but when I do wear it, I definitely get a lot of compliments on it. What I will tell you, just like any of the other Angel Men fragrances that we talk about today on this list, don't spray a lot because they are strong, they do last a long time, and you don't want to drown people out. So on this one here, three, four sprays on this one, you'll be good depending on where you're spraying. If you're indoors, definitely don't spray too much. Outdoors, you can do what it does. It's a strong fragrance, so it's going to cut through the cold weather and still project and perform like you wanted to. Price point on this one, 90 bucks. Again, rubber flask. At the bottom of these, I don't know if you guys can catch it, but at the bottom of all of these fragrances is kind of where it names the fragrance and the size. Size point on this is 3.4, so 100 ml is what you'll get on these. And again, they all range from 89 to 90 bucks. So number two, pure malt on the most complimentary Terry Mugler fragrances. And for the number one, numero uno, most complimentary Terry Mugler fragrance in my collection, Ultra Zest. It's weird because this one has a different name. Most of them have pure this, pure that, but this one is a ultra zest and it's a highly, highly complimented fragrance. This one here I would say is more for summer and, and uh, springtime, which is probably why I can wear it a lot and get more compliments on it because of the heat down here and this performs uh, really well. Um, I actually purchased this fragrance because of a review that I heard on it and I purchased this one blind. Someone said that this smells like an orange cream sickle and I said bye now. So I did. And I'm um, not disappointed in this fragrance at all. The the bottle again just like the other one comes in the rubber flask very masculine fragrance here. Um, this one here, to me, does it smell like an orange creamsicle? No, it doesn't smell like an orange creamsicle, but um, to me, this one's going to be more of a rich citrus smell. Like you have blood orange in here, you have regular orange, you have mint, also you have the patchouli. Um, again, just like the bottom shows the name of the fragrance so I can tell the difference between them. 90 bucks, the price point on this one, good buy for the $90 price point. Something that I'd recommend that you add to the collection, especially now that we're in the springtime. Add 
have this on, this will perform indoors, outdoors. Don't go too many sprays on this because again, you will drown some people out. The one thing I don't like about any of these, the way they set up is you have to hit it just right in order for it to spray. So if you don't hit it just right, you might get a spray that looks like this. But if you get the full spray, that's kind of what it will look like. Definitely make sure that you um, are hitting in the middle when you do this. You hit the middle. Um, yeah, you do that. It's your boy Big Bear B. As always, I need you to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Hit the goddamn bell. Hit the bell! You know, you tell a friend to tell a friend that we back again. It's your boy Big Bear B. Holla at your boy. I'm not a boy, I'm a man. I am a king, man. <laughs>